Welcome. Today is November 22nd, 2019, and I'm here to do our weekend check-in, so let's begin. Sorry guys, that was interrupted. <laughs> so let me go ahead and use the meditation singing bowl to clear the energy. So let's go ahead and see what are the energies going to be like for this Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Collective for the weekend of the 22nd to the 25th and see what kind of energies can we expect from our Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Collective. What is the masculine's current overall energy, please, spirit? And what is the current overall energy of our divine feminine? Thank you, spirit. For masculines, we have community, so I really feel like, you know, divine masculines are going to be surrounded by people over the weekend. Um, I really feel like, you know, it's in a sense where this masculine has to really defend themselves, you know, against a group of people, you know, whether it's uh, standing up for what they believe in or, you know, just setting themselves apart from the rest. Um, that is the feeling that I'm getting, but also uh, it could be positive, um, you know, where this masculine uh, is having a sense of community, maybe a get together, maybe socializing from what I can gather. It can go both ways, but the initial feeling was that, you know, while this masculine is socializing, um, I feel like, you know, that the people that they're surrounded with uh, might be testing them, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting here. And for the feminines, we have the thinking woman, and we have here a number 47. So that reduces to an 11, which reduces to a 2. I feel like over the weekend, the divine feminine is, is going to be thinking a lot, okay, um, about like changing, transformation, possibly, you know, looking at uh, themselves, um, possibly uh, also studying, researching, uh, looking into things, possibly reading a book. Uh, trying to gather information, you know, and this feminine could be gathering information based on, uh, you know, the masculine's a physical, uh, you know, circumstance where the masculine is surrounded by a, a community of people. But I feel like uh, for the weekend, the feminines are more towards themselves, okay? That is the feeling that I'm getting. And also, I feel like the feminines, you know, is in the energy of making a choice or a decision, possibly about life, love, or any decisions that they need to make, okay? Uh, that is the feeling I'm getting for this Divine Feminine. So, for the underlying energy, let me see what is going on with this Divine Masculine when it comes to their community of people. And for the Divine Feminine, this thinking woman. What is the underlying energy, please, spirit, when it comes to this community for this divine masculine and this thinking woman? Divine masculines, your hard work is paying off, okay? So I feel that, you know, this masculine could be, uh, you know, surrounded by a group of people. This could be work-related, and their hard work is actually paying off here. I feel like, you know, when it comes to, you know, working on themselves and possibly uh, towards other people, um, I feel like they're getting accolades or, you know, just a sense of, you know, hey, you've done a great job. Um, you know, that's 
sort of a thing. So I feel like, you know, masculines are, are being more of service towards a, a large group of people from what I can feel, okay? And for feminines, we have at the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon and Capricorn. Guys, you know, both of these energies are in uh, the Capricorn. We have here the new moon and the full moon. So Capricorn season um, is actually around at the end of December uh, into January. So, but also this could be significant for the upcoming uh, new moon and the full moon. So I feel like, you know, wherever this masculine feminine energies are at over weekend, I feel like both counterparts are really working on something towards a common goal. Okay, both are working very hard on, you know, either thinking about, you know, their situation or if it's dealing with people, you know, for this divine masculine. You know, both counterparts are really working towards something. Okay, so let me go ahead and see what exactly is that. <laughs> so I'm going to pull additional energies here. Let's see. Why is this masculine's hard work paying off? Like, what is it specifically? Okay. And what is their energy towards their feminine? So I'm going to pull two cards for each. And for feminines, what is this tough cycle that is approaching that is going to complete? And what is your energy towards your masculine? Okay. So for masculines, we have storyteller. Ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. So, wow, <laughs> you know, this masculine could be, you know, surrounded by a group of people, a community of people. This could be work friends or family, um, you know, and I feel like, you know, while this masculine is surrounded by, you know, whatever people that they're with, um, you know, I feel like, you know, they're expressing like, you know, like past stories that they have experienced and uh, you know, and expressing that to other people, you know, it feels a uh, very cordial, a uh, very, you know, um, kind of lighthearted almost. But also, I feel like you know, this masculine, you know, um, you know, could be giving words of wisdom or advice, you know, to you know whatever people that they're surrounded um, themselves with. You know, I really feel like this could be work or family, okay, or it could be a group of friends. You know, uh, take it how it resonates, but it's definitely you know towards you know a group of people from what I can feel huh. and towards the feminine we have prostitute accentuates and challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit <laughs> wow you know you know for this masculine towards their feminine you know, I feel like they're being challenged, you know, by, you know, negotiating with their feminine through the power of, you know, their higher self and not through the fleshy desires, okay? So instead of this masculine, you know, uh, trying to, you know, give you, um, you know, kind of like uh, <laughs> those uh, conversations about, you know, hey, baby, you know, how about you come over tonight, you know? Um, you know, let's, let's do something, right? It's not like that. I feel like, you know, this masculine is, is really, you know, trying to bring down their higher selves, okay? Uh, and expose their higher selves to their feminine. That is the feeling that I'm getting. So, you know, actually this prostitute card in the upright is actually very positive. But, um, it's so funny, guys, because we have here, like, money, like, laying on top of this feminine, you know, um, <laughs> you know, this masculine is trying to be more spiritual in their approach to their feminine. That is, that is the feeling that I'm getting. So, uh, overall, uh, you know, honestly, I feel like this masculine is actually in good spirits for the weekend. And that's actually pretty good. Okay. And so for this feminine, we have child eternal, but it came up in reverse. 
The inability to grow up and be responsible. Extreme dependency on others for physical security. So this is what I'm feeling for this divine feminine. Feminine, I feel like, you know, you are secluded. You're more towards yourself. You're going to be thinking more over the weekend. Whatever cycle that you're going through, you know, it's coming to an end. And basically what I'm feeling is that you just have this inability to grow up and be responsible for your actions. Okay. And, um, you know, perhaps you're, uh, you know, feeling a little bit dependent on either your masculine or other people for physical security. Okay. This masculine, okay, when they come in and possibly approach their feminine, they're not going to do it in a sense where they have in the past that is just strong feeling i'm getting i really feel like this time around this masculine is going to bring their higher selves down to the 3d and actually you know talk to their feminine through spirituality okay so it's not in, in the same usual sense as this masculine has uh you know uh pursued their feminine you know through uh sexual ways or through um through money or buying you trinkets or anything like that it's actually like you know you know just kind words you know maybe uh like wisdom you know giving you advice you know that sort of a thing but overall you know this is the energy of this divine feminine so let's see here <laughs> oh my goodness and so towards the masculine we have beggar but it's in reverse dependence on others to the exclusion of effort wow feminines Oh, wow. You know, over the weekend, I just feel like you are actually being more codependent, you know, on a something or someone, okay? And in this case, it's actually towards your masculine, dependent on your, your masculine, you know, um, you know, with the exclusion of effort, you know, I feel that, you know, you want, you want more from your masculine okay you know and you don't like begging for attention from your masculine you're really thinking very deeply over the weekend you don't want to be really codependent even though i see a lot of codependency you know uh energies on the feminine side you know you might have a slight uh, attachment to you know your masculine or just because you're by yourself you know and this masculine i feel like is being more social being surrounded by people and feminines you know you're you're feeling excluded um but also you know i feel like you know somewhat you're very uh dependent on your masculine you know without having to beg for it okay that is the feeling that I'm getting, and um, you're going to go go through this cycle. I feel like, you know, you're going to realize, you know, some of the actions that you might be feeling over the weekend. Um, it's a little bit rough for this feminine, but I feel like you're, you're going to uh, overcome it because this masculine is very uh, in a positive energy, and this feminine, I feel like, you know, it's almost like you're going through a dark night of the soul here. Okay, just a small one, not not a big one. Okay, that is the feeling that I'm getting. So let me go ahead and check into the divine masculine's energy towards their divine feminine. Okay, what is the energy of this masculine towards their feminine? You know, because, you know, honestly, I just feel like they may not have so much time, focus, and attention towards their feminine, um, you know, it's, it's like they're not attached to anyone or anything, they're, they're being more social, being more expressive, um, you know, just having, like, time for, for, you know, talking, I feel like this masculine is communicating a lot more these days, that's the feeling getting, so what is this energy of this masculine towards their feminine over the weekend? We have Empress. Wow. 
this mask on really sees you as an empress divine feminine okay hence the reason why we have this prostitute card here in the upright they really uh put you up on a pedestal okay feminines like even if they're surrounded by a community of people and look there's just so many you know um that is out there you know and these these are uh, people look gorgeous okay um you know and i feel like your masculine may be surrounded by you know beautiful people you know um and i feel like you know they could be talking to them but when it comes to you divine feminine they really see you or put you up in high regard they really uh energetically put you up on that pedestal they see that you surpass all these even beautiful people or handsome people that your masculine is surrounded by, okay? That is why I feel like this masculine is really defending themselves. You know, possibly, you know, there's other people surrounding your masculine since it's the holidays, you know, trying to be more friendly to your masculine. But honestly, the feeling that I'm getting is that this masculine is actually setting some boundaries. That is what I'm feeling. You know, it's actually a very positive energy that I'm feeling from this masculine. And here we have the Nine of Cups. This masculine possibly, you know, wishes that they could be with you. Okay? That is the feeling that I'm getting here. And they want to communicate. They want to speak their truth. You know, they want to come in with some clarity and um, and full transparency from what I can feel. Like, honestly, I feel like this masculine secretly chooses their feminine even if you know they're surrounded by so many people here all they can really think about is you divine feminine and that's the feeling that i'm getting that's so beautiful guys and here we have the seven of cups why because this masculine has options there's you know there's a community of people that is surrounding your masculine they're not sure what to do you know but i feel that you know their hard work is actually paying off you know if this masculine is you know taking the time to set their own boundaries not really uh leading on you know towards other people that this masculine is surrounded with you know because i feel like this masculine is actually telling stories um to you know this this group of people here I feel like this masculine, you know, is, is telling, you know, these people about their life, okay, um, about their stories, you know, and, and possibly, you know, these group of people might be attracted to your masculine because of your masculine being more expressive of, you know, what they have gone through, you know, uh, and things like that. You know, it's almost like kind of a friendship basis, but I feel like there could be a potential for you know striking up something more but this is just the beginning okay um i feel like it's very friendly energy here even if that were the case this masculine okay really is thinking about their feminine okay you know it's almost like another little mini test to you know to test this masculine you know how devoted are they to their feminine do they truly love their divine feminine or are they going to be swayed by, you know, uh, a community of people? Okay, that is the feeling that I'm getting here. And this masculine, okay, feels burdened, you know, by, you know, like the things that are being placed in front of this masculine. It's like, you know, I feel like this masculine is like, am I being tested again? You know, I, I really, you know, enjoy the company of these people, you know, um, and they're just being them. Okay. They didn't, they didn't want to attract like, you know, a new crowd or a group of people. They're just being themselves. They're being real in front of these people by exposing, you know, some of the things that they have gone through. And I feel like this masculine is really burdened because honestly, I feel like, you know, this masculine has been working on themselves, you know, to not attract, you know, people, you know, into their life in that sense, you know, because I feel like this masculine really deep down inside wants to really work on them so that they could make it right for their divine feminine. That is the feeling that I'm getting here. Yes, because here we have the Queen of Pentacles. You know, this masculine really wants something grounded. They want, you know, you know, someone who is secure, 
you know, very mature, you know, who can, you know, um, be a provider and okay, can nurture. And, um, you know, and right now, I just feel like this masculine, you know, has been, you know, really working on themselves in a sense to really be like the counterpart to this Queen of Pentacles. That is, that is the honest goodness feeling that I'm getting. And yeah, here we are with the Emperor, you know, instead of like, you know, being a, a match to the Queen of Pentacles, they, they're coming in as the Emperor, something above and beyond, okay, what, you know, their feminines are. And I really feel like this masculine is wanting to take control of the situation. Like this masculine is focused. Okay, they're, I feel like they're not letting any third-party situations get in the way of this masculine's growth, okay, and what they have been working on, because their hard work is paying off, you know, I feel like Divine is testing this masculine to see how true they are to themselves and also to the connection with their feminine, because if they really, you know, feel or see the feminine as the empress, okay, they want to be a match and come in as the emperor. And that, that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, because this masculine wants their ten of cups. They want to be happy. They want to have a family with you, divine feminines. They're really putting in the work. Wow. Like, I am, like, super proud of this masculine who is really embodying this energy because I can see okay energetically that they're being tested they're being surrounded by people and you know these people they look good you know i ain't gonna lie i can see this in my mind and but this masculine doesn't want to get swayed okay by something that that is glittery okay that is in front of them and because i feel like this masculine has gone through their karmic situations to know the difference and really just stay true to themselves and stick to themselves because deep down inside this masculine does have strong feelings for their feminine and they want to be your match that is the feeling that i'm getting feminines wow that is why we have here the prostitute okay in the upright for this masculine and their hard work is paying off and you know towards this community they have the ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols and that is all that it is, you know, like if this mask is surrounded by a group of people, I feel like, you know, it's just so that they could pass on some information towards, you know, other people that are surrounding them in their current life. And it doesn't have to be a romantic interest. It could be friends. It could be coworkers. It could be family. Okay. You know, it could be children also. Okay. That is what I'm feeling. Honestly. This feeling feels really good coming from this masculine, okay? So, how is this masculine currently thinking about their feminine? We have temperance, okay? This masculine wants to heal the connection with their divine feminine, okay? They're balancing out their emotions. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, and I feel like they're healing, okay they're healing themselves that's why i just had a really good feeling about this masculine if this masculine was thrown a little test i feel like they have mastered it they're like no you know i know where my heart is it is with my divine feminine because my divine feminine has never strayed away they've always been there for me even though that i have not and you know yes i get sidetracked by you know people that are in front of me but now that have grown and evolved and you know have brought my higher self down to the 3d i really have been working on myself and i feel like this masculine has come into awareness of that guys wow i'm like super proud of this masculine whoever this masculine is they have really like matured that is the feeling that i'm getting here so how is this masculine feeling towards their feminine we have nine of pentacles this masculine you know sees that their feminine is working very independently on their own they can manage and maintain themselves and again i just see that this masculine sees their feminine in a very high light they see that you can take care of yourself you know you can manage things on your own you know you're like you know an entrepreneur you know or a business person or if you're working you're well to do in your job you know and 
you know, and I feel like you know how to maintain on your own. But like, honestly, what this masculine thinks and how this feminine feels is that this feminine may on the outside show that, you know, they can uh, be single and independent because here we have this thinking woman and she's all alone, changing, transforming, trying to always, you know, uh, you know, be better on a daily basis. But on the down low, you know, she has this inability, you know, to grow up and be responsible and has some dependency on other people for physical security. She might not be, you know, expressing this or showing this, but that's how she's feeling inside, you know. So I feel like there's a lack of a security for this feminine and this feminine over the weekend is trying to make a decision on what they need to do. Because honestly, I feel like both of you guys are thinking very differently. And, you know, while this masculine is feeling very positive towards your feminine, this feminine on the inside does not. Even though on the outside she looks like he or she looks like they have it all together. Okay? That is what I'm feeling. This masculine is unaware that on the inside this feminine is feeling lonely. Okay? And they need emotional support. That is the feeling that I'm getting here. So what does this masculine want to do towards a connection with their feminine? We have here Ace of Pentacles. This masculine is wanting to give a solid offer to their divine feminine. So here the, the feminine has the Nine of Pentacles, okay? And here this masculine wants to offer this final pentacle to make the Ten of Pentacles, okay? To complete you know, uh, what is, you know, going on in this feminine's life. So finally, whatever that this feminine is feeling on the inside that is missing, okay, because I feel like this feminine has been working on themselves, you know, but they, they still are missing a key component here. And that is, you know, the love, you know, attention or affection of their masculine. I see like this masculine is really involved with a lot of people and a lot of people are, you know, in your masculine's energy, but more than anything, you know, this masculine really wants to give this big shiny new pentacle to their feminine, okay? They really value you very much, feminine. So that is the feeling that I'm getting here, okay? So what are the actions is this masculine going to take towards their feminine? We have four pentacles. <laughs> they're holding on to the connection, guys, okay? I feel like, you know, they're holding on. They, they, they do not want to let go, okay? This masculine almost feels a little stingy, you know, knowing that they're feminine, okay, is out there, you know, single, you know, and by themselves, and they want to hold on, okay? They want to hold on to the connection. You know, but right now, this masculine may not feel like they have enough to really give. They want to give this pentacle to their feminine, but, you know, in reality, they feel like they don't have enough, okay? That is why their hard work is paying off. You know, they're working on their spirituality, but also on their physical life, okay? Because I feel like maybe finances may be a little tight for this masculine to really give this feminine an offer. So, what is the challenge for this masculine uh, when it comes to their feminine? Six of Pentacles. Again, there's a lot of Pentacles in this reading, guys. So, the challenge here is this masculine to give balance back to the feminine. Because I can see it right now. In this masculine's physical life, they're giving more to this community of people, which I feel is a karmic situation, okay? So, karmics doesn't have to be a love interest, guys, okay? It could be a job, it could be friends, it could be family, it could be uh, something that is not even living, okay? It could be a car, you know, whatever this karmic uh, situation is for your masculine. They're actually giving more to the karmic energy than they are to the feminine. Because I feel like the karmic energy is really like surrounding your masculine, kind of like like, you know, a flock of sheep, you know, um, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, taking uh, the energy of your masculine, okay, um, so that they can't really give more to their feminine. But more than anything, this masculine really wants to give more to their feminine. And they really see that, you know, you're, you're doing well independently. 
They want to match up to your energy, Divine Feminine, is what I'm feeling here, okay? You know, and that is the challenge. This masculine knows that they have to give you more, you know, in order to have balance in the connection. So what can we expect from this masculine uh, in the near future? We have Nine of Wands. You know, this masculine, okay, is really guarded. They're, you know, they're wounded, you know, but I feel like they're hanging in by a thin, you know, thread or a twig. <laughs> they're holding on to that one rod and they're leaving the rest behind. I feel like they're, you know, they were burdened, okay, because I saw that in the underlying energy here. You know, there's like, you know, so much that's going on in this masculine's life that they're, they're just burdened. Okay, so I feel like even throughout the weekend, even though that this masculine has other plans in their mind, and I feel like it was a continuation from yesterday's reading, because uh, I saw that the masculine's energy is taking their energy back before they're moving forward. Okay, and I feel like this is the situation over the weekend. You know, they're still hanging in there, but they want to release their burden so that they can have like a new beginning with their feminine guys. Okay, so I feel like they're currently working on this, but I feel like, and deep down inside, even though that this masculine is surrounded by other people, they really have you in their mind. Okay, feminines, that is the feeling that I'm getting here. Wow. That's beautiful, you know. So let me go ahead and use another deck here and see, Feminine, what is your energy towards your Divine Masculine, okay? And now if this thing comes up with reversals, I'm going to put it on the upright because normally I read these tarot cards in the upright and yesterday it came out in reverse and I didn't have the time to make things a price <laughs> all right so feminines what is your energy for your divine masculine over the weekend what is your energy towards your divine masculine over the weekend Overall, we have here moving on, okay? This is the Six of Swords. I feel like, you know, this feminine has been thinking, okay, a lot about themselves, about their masculines. I feel like this feminine has changed and transformed, you know? And I really feel like because this masculine is still taking a little bit of time, you know, to really approach their feminine. This feminine want, wants to leave the past behind and move forward, okay? That is the feeling I'm getting, because honestly, I feel like this feminine over the weekend is by themselves. While this masculine is surrounded by a group of people, this feminine is alone, okay? That is what I'm seeing here. Also, we have here Sacral Chakra, okay? So feminines, you know, I feel like, you know, you are trying to find the strength, okay, uh, to, you know, like work on things, okay? That is the feeling I'm getting, you know. Also, this could be, you know, uh, your sexuality, you know, um, maybe, you know, you need to work on it because it did come up in the reverse. And, um, you know, and I feel like because, you know, this feminine feels stuck, in a situation, I feel like you want to release yourself from this energy so that you can, you know, uh, move forward. That is the feeling I'm getting. I feel like this feminine feels stuck, not knowing what to do, still feeling the energy of their masculine. So honestly, guys, I feel that, you know, these are for twins who are in little or no communication, okay? That is the feeling that I'm getting here, you know, uh, or sporadic communication. You know, this feminine, you know, wants to move forward. They want to keep moving, keep things rolling, you know, because it feels a little stagnant. And they've been, you have been thinking so much, feminines, about change. That is the feeling I'm getting, okay? This masculine may not be expressing so much to you in the physical, but in their reality, that is what they're thinking, okay? And also we have here triumph. Okay, I feel like, you know, you want to find your balance and move forward and triumph over this feeling of being held back. 
you know, again, I feel like for finance, you just feel like, you know, you're feeling stagnant. You want to push forward. You don't want to be codependent on your masculine. You want to be independent. Your masculine really feels that you are. But really, like I said, on the inside, this feminine doesn't. They feel stuck and trapped. You know, yes, you have been working very hard. You've been very diligent in your craft. But, you know, because this masculine's inability to really communicate and show some effort, okay, because here I see that the action is that they're holding back. You know, and it's all because this masculine can't give that reciprocity because of the uh, karmic energy that is surrounding them. But, you know, this masculine is tired too. They want to break free because there's so many people, you know, that is demanding the attention of this masculine where they can't, you know, leave the situation behind. That is the feeling I'm getting in feminines. You know, you just want to roll forward, you know. That is the feeling I'm getting here. And next we have here balance. This feminine wants to, you know, find balance within themselves. Okay, and heal. That is the feeling that I'm getting here. And um, you're just really healing yourself, Divine Feminines. You want to find balance, you know, because really you're not balanced. You, you can play off that you are on the outside, but on the inside you are not. That's the true feeling that I'm getting for this feminine. And here we have awareness. I feel like this feminine, you know, is ready to manifest a change. You know, you have been thinking a lot. You know, everything is coming full circle here from what I can feel. You know, you have the knowledge, okay, to push things forward and make a decision, okay? That is a feeling I'm getting so that you can have, like, a new beginning, okay? Um, and this is uh, the um, Ace of Pentacles, okay? This is the Ace of Pentacles. You want that new beginning. Your mask wants that too. Both you guys are really marrying each other. That is the feeling that I'm getting. So, Feminines, how are you currently thinking about your masculine? We have a Five of Pentacles. You feel left out in the cold. You know, finances and material changes, you know, are affecting your thinking when it comes to your masculine. You know, perhaps, you know, it's either you or your masculine, you know, is going through financial difficulty. You know, this masculine really sees that you're doing well, okay? But feminines, I feel like, you know, you're really thinking about your masculine. Are they doing well? You know, you know that there's some financial or material changes that is going on in your masculine's life. You know, you possibly, you know, see that, you know, they're surrounded by, you know, uh, people constantly and you're just feeling left out in the cold. That is what I'm feeling here. That's why, you know, you're by yourself over here, feminines. You know, you're really thinking, even though that you're busy working on your craft, deep down inside, you just, you want, you know, physical security. You want intimacy, you know. You have everything except for your masculine. That is the feeling that I'm getting here, okay? And you don't want to be a beggar. You don't want to beg attention from your masculine. You know, you want it when the timing is right, you know. And I really feel that um, it's going to be an end of a tough cycle here, okay, feminines? You know, I feel like you're going through a little shadowy period here, okay? So, how are you feeling towards your masculine? We have the universe, okay? So, I really feel like, feminines, you know, you want to end a cycle so that you can have, like, a new beginning. I feel like you want to put an end to this energy. Again, the end of a tough cycle approaches. That's how you're feeling. And this is the underlying energy when it comes to your thinking about your masculine. And I feel like you're really working on it. I feel like you're working on your mental thoughts when it comes to your masculine. I feel like you see that your masculine and their physical life is really working on themselves. 
you know, but, you know, I feel like this feminine has, like, a little sense of codependency, you know, really wanting some sort of attention or affection coming from their masculine, and I feel like they're not really re receiving, you know, any of that at this time. This masculine's challenge here is to give that to their feminine. This masculine knows that there's a lot of, like, karmic energy you know, to to the point where they can't give it to this feminine. But more than anything, they really want to. They just feel like they're overburdened by um, obligations at this time, okay? Obligations or other commitments that they have. So how is this feminine feeling towards your masculine? We have power, okay? You um, are trying to find this strength to overcome this so feminines you know you know this masculine really wants to give you a new beginning but you know and in the same token you're just trying to find the courage okay and strength to overcome this difficult period that you're going through in this time you know you want a new beginning with your masculine but you know that this old cycle has to end in order for you guys to really truly come together and that is what i'm seeing here so what are the actions you're wanting to take towards your masculine we have the waiting game again and i saw this in yesterday's reading this feminine okay uh, is trying to make a choice or a decision about what to do okay that is what I'm seeing here, guys. This was the first card that, that showed up. The thinking woman, okay? You guys are thinking, and we have here number 47, which reduces to a 2. Making a decision. Being in two minds, okay? About a choice. So, feminines, I feel like a lot of time has been passing. Your masculine has been holding back. They haven't really given you this pentacle, even though that is what they want to do. The masculine is being held back by a karmic situation. And for you, time is ticking, okay? That is the feel I'm getting. So, what is the challenge for this feminine? We have here the Four of Cups, okay? So, I really feel like the challenge here is this feminine being discontent and bored. I kid you not, guys. That is what I'm feeling because, guys, you know, this feminine is here all alone. And she's wearing green, okay? Thinking about her heart, you know? Thinking about her feelings. That is the feeling I'm getting. Like, it's great that, you know, this person is successful. They're well-to-do. They got everything, you know, in their life in order. But this masculine is still working on their physical situation. You know, this feminine is really missing a key component, even though that they have learned self-love. They're looking back and seeing, like, when is this masculine ever going to give an offer? It's like, you know, this person feels that this offer, you know, um, is available to this feminine, but they haven't received it. And it's because, like, this masculine is busy, stuck in a karmic situation, okay, where they're surrounded by a community of people. And it's spreading their energy thin to where they can't give it to their feminine, at least not this weekend, okay? That is why the challenge for this feminine towards their masculine is being um, discontent and bored, okay? So when you're feeling uh, in this energy feminines, you really need to raise your vibration. Uh, make sure, you know, do you love yourself first, you know, to get out of this situation and really just, you know, be focused on, on something positive, okay? That is the feeling that I'm getting here because this feminine is trying to make a decision. You're trying to be strong. You want a new beginning, but this cycle is about to end, okay? And how you're thinking about your masculine is that, you know, finances and things in the physical is affecting your relationship between you two. This masculine is healing themselves at this time. They're still healing. They're still working on themselves. They want to be the emperor to the empress. Okay? So, what is the final outcome for this feminine over the weekend? We have stand your ground. Okay? And I feel that, you know, this is the same energy. Okay, as this masculine here dealing with the community. So what this masculine is currently dealing with is how this feminine is ending. Both of you guys are fighting for each other, sticking up for yourself, defending the connection, knowing that just because <clears throat> there is a, a physical situation 
dealing with your masculine's energy doesn't mean it, it's time to end it. Just because you are bored, divine feminines, and really discontent with, you know, how things are playing out in the physical doesn't mean that, you know, it's time to make a definite decision. Okay, I feel like this energy is very temporary over the weekend. Okay, that is what I'm feeling. So defend yourself, divine feminines. Make sure you harness this power. Work on your sacral chakra, okay, um, and, and just hang in there, okay? This masculine definitely wants to give you an offer. I feel like they're, they're working, you know, there's, there's other situations that is in the way, but, you know, this masculine is really still holding on. It's just that, you know, there's so many burdens in this masculine's life, they can't give you their all, okay? Even if they wanted to, they really can't. So I'm just letting you know. Okay, feminines? All right. So let me go ahead and pull some love oracle messages that this masculine like to communicate to their feminine. What message does this masculine want to say to their feminine in this now moment? What is the message that this masculine like to communicate? the feminine in this now moment. Okay, so we have two. Look deep within your heart and you'll feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Guys, and this came out yesterday, so this must be, you know, a true message coming from this masculine towards your feminine. Feminines, even if you are not with your masculine in the physical and you're feeling slightly detached and you have been thinking about your masculine and how, how your masculine is not with you in the physical sense, look deep within your heart and you will feel your person's love, okay? Your love is as deep as the ocean, okay? That is what their love is. Their love is as deep as the ocean. So look within your heart and feel the love coming from your divine other okay that is what they want to say also we have surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter into our lives let go and all will work out wow and i really feel like that because here we have the universe card for this divine feminine okay Divine Masculines want to let you know that, you know, they're trying to release all the old energy before something new can enter into our lives, you know, and they're trying to let go, you know, look, this is how they're feeling, they're trying to let go of the old energy, okay, and, and they're, they're trying to trust that, you know, it will all work out, why, because, their hard work is paying off. They're working on it right now, guys, okay? So just because your masculine isn't, you know, showing up for you um, this weekend, okay, doesn't mean that they don't. They're, they're really working on themselves, okay, feminines? That is what I'm feeling. This masculine wants to surrender, okay, and give it all up so they can have a new beginning with you because I definitely see it. They want to give you this new offer, okay, a long-term offer, you know, but right now they're holding back from what I can see, right? They're holding on to the connection to Divine Feminines. So, Feminines, what is it that you want to say to your masculine? What is it that you like to say to your masculine? What is the message you like to say to your masculine, Feminine? Oh my god, that's too much. Copy a lot because you're thinking too damn much. <laughs> One card, please, spirit. Okay. Alright. So, here for feminines. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Exactly. That is what's going on in this masculine's life. They are surrounded by a community of people. You know, this masculine may not understand why things always happen, okay? But there's always a higher purpose to the events that is in this masculine's life. Even though that this masculine has to deal with the situation, they really want to come forward towards their feminine. But just know, through whatever turmoil that this masculine is going through, a blessing will soon be revealed. 
okay to this masculine it's all a part of the journey okay that is the feeling i'm getting so that's a beautiful message feminines that you want to say to your masculine and also we have here balance love is not always about agreeing for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges exactly and that is the challenge for this masculine guys i kid you not okay love is not always about agreeing for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges you know when when things are being supported or challenged and you fight for a connection because of what you believe and bring balance to the situation you don't want to let that relationship go guys that is some hardcore bonnie clyde type stuff okay you know that is what I'm saying. That that's that's a twin flame right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So those are beautiful messages. All right. So let me go ahead and pull uh, a guidance message. Okay, and close out this reading. Dear Spirit, what is the guidance message that you have here? For this divine masculine and divine feminine collective for the weekend what is the message that you have for this divine masculine and divine feminine for the weekend what is the message that they need to know in this moment that will help them in their individual circumstance or situation please Thank you, Spirit. Use your time well. Oh, my God. Make every moment count. Number 24. And this cat looks a little creepy, guys. I looked at that. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Look at that kitty. <laughs> so let me go ahead and read the book and see what this says. You know, use your time well, guys, okay? I mean, yes, we all have divine timing but you know use it well don't don't let it go to waste because you know whatever time that we have in this lifetime is temporary okay but energy always carries you know let's make the most out of this life that's what i'm feeling you know because if there is a lot of time between you and your masculine that is why this feminine is in this thinking woman energy thinking about the decisions you know about what to do trying to find the energy because right now you're discontent and bored with your situation dealing with waiting on your masculine but i feel like you're going to stick up for yourself divine feminines because i feel like deep down in your heart you already know the answer okay because you know how the masculine feels is as deep as the ocean so you guys are really connected to each other but this masculine is, is still going through a situation that they need to clear and it is you know a little bit of a karma that they have to clear but once they clear that karma i see that this masculine really wants to give you you know a solid offer feminine okay so let's go ahead and see okay Asking riddles that seem to have no answer may seem like a waste of time, but sometimes it leads to discovery. When we allow ourselves to ask questions that may have no discernible answer, we might find out valuable things and unearth what we truly think and believe. But there is another element to this card, as there are people who will waste your time, not only by asking questions that have no answers, but deliberately asking those questions intending to take up your time. Exactly. Oh my God. You know, the initial thought that I got was this community of people, people asking, you know, your masculine for their wisdom, their advice, and your masculine, guess what, is being a storyteller. They're giving advice and wisdom to these people, but they don't get it. They're like, but I don't understand. And this masculine is, you know, trying to, you know, be a kind person and trying to help this community of people, you know, by giving them their time. But no matter how much, you know, they're expressing themselves about their situation, 
they still don't get it and they're wasting your masculine's time and i feel like that is why your masculine is being burdened because they're very kind-hearted guys okay they're over giving being generous to karmic situations wasting their time you know when they could be using their time for something else okay and here is divine feminine like sitting here thinking of like well you know i know i'm very logical and like why would somebody ask you the same question over and over if they're asking these questions why don't you just like you know say okay you know if you don't get it you know that's all i can do i can't you know make you change or or you know get you to you know realize like you know what i just expressed to you for the 10th time you know i can imagine what this feminine's thinking you know because like the masculine and feminine are almost you know on the same level because not a lot of people really get like the intensity or you know the knowledge or wisdom that twin flames have you know especially if you're a light worker or you know or someone you know who is more open to spirituality you know um and very close-minded these people are, are not spiritual they're very close-minded okay and they're seeking for answers but they still don't get it because they they still have work to do okay they are not on the spiritual path and i feel like your masculine is surrounded by these types of people okay and it's really taking up their time that is what i'm feeling these are people in the lives who feel justified questioning prying or wasting our time it is up to you to decide which questions are worth answering and those that serve no purpose and can be left alone like alice you could find yourself becoming bothered by people's desires to confuse you exactly that is what i'm feeling you know these people are confusing your masculine you know and like i said these people they look hella good okay they're not ugly looking people you know your mask gonna be like oh well you know they, they kind of look cute or, you know, they look handsome. <coughs> Let me entertain them, you know, with my wisdom, you know, but they're clueless, guys. These people are freaking clueless and they, they just like, well, I don't understand. Can you explain it to me one more time? No, B, you know, get the heck on with your life. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No. Like Alice, could, uh, you could find yourself becoming bothered by people's desires to confuse you. When this card comes, it is essential to create a safe space about yourself and to know what you are prepared to do, what you are prepared to withdraw from, and what you will leave well alone. Trust Alice on this. There are many people in this world with questions that will simply waste your very precious and, and irreplaceable time. Answer only those that bring you closer to a resolution that will lead to a greater and deeper way of experiencing the world. Some people love to feel that they are important enough to take up another's time for no reason. For no reason. These are manipulated people, okay? They know how to use people, okay? Don't let them waste yours. And here is Pearl, Divine Feminine, as a thinking woman, like... You know, I am above and beyond that, you know, I'm a freaking sapiosexual and why are you like involving yourself with um, these people who aren't even on your level? I don't get it. What is it? Is it their, um, you know, their blouse that they're wearing or like, you know, they have like these nice tight jeans that they're wearing, you know, like whatever it is, you know, maybe it's their perfume, like get over it. Okay. Like don't let those people waste your time. Time. That is what I'm feeling. Time is very important, guys. You know, for me personally, I am very time conscious. I don't like to waste time. I keep it rolling. I keep things moving. You know, if I put something out there and there is no response or answer, I just keep going. I'm not going to sit here and yearn for an answer. Okay? Life keeps going on. If the person was not ready to answer a question or, you know, be so kind to make a simple response, I'm not going to sit there and, like, grieve over it or, you know, um, think uh, anything twice. I just keep things rolling guys i can't stand somebody who wastes my time just like the telephone guys if you don't have the time to leave a voicemail message when i am busy okay but you can call me multiple times and not leave a voicemail message hell no 
I'm not going to sit here and take the time to call you back 10 million times. Are you crazy? If you had the energy to call, okay, leave a fucking message. I'm sorry, guys. Bleep. <laughs> Let me just read the divination and this reading, okay? Someone could be wasting your time by asking questions they have no interest in answering, people not listening or repeatedly asking for assistance but not heeding advice. Someone wishes to take up a great deal of your time in order to feel more important. That is what I'm feeling. That is the block. This masculine is in a karmic situation that keeps, you know, taking more of their time away. Okay? Let's see what else. Listen to or cared about. Set your boundaries, okay? So, masculines, set your boundaries. If you're in a karmic situation, you know, dealing with the community of people that is taking up your time. Yes, you know, we get that, you know, you're very supportive, you know, very kind, very caring, very nurturing. You know, you have that quality about you, okay? But it's taking the time away from what you really need to do and work on, okay? Let alone your divine feminine, because I see that you really want to give them an offer. And that's a big shiny offer but you're you're allowing people who are are not really that important in your life that is trying to take away from your time and progressing and moving forward don't give your your time out so freely okay keep it rolling for divine feminines i see that you're really thinking about the situation use your time well okay don't dwell on what your masculine is doing or who they're giving their time focused attention away to okay put it more towards yourself and i feel like you know you too are also feeling a little codependent you know uh maybe on your masculine but in general i do see it i'm not gonna lie you're in your shadow period here okay dependence on others for the exclusion of effort okay and also inability to grow up and be responsible extreme dependency on others for physical security so if you're being needy towards your masculine if you guys are in communication with your masculine and you're constantly you know begging for attention release it okay let your masculine breathe for crying out loud and that is what i'm feeling guys <clears throat> but if you guys are not in communication and feminine you're really thinking about yourself in this situation just put that focus more on yourself okay continue to heal and do self-love okay your masculine is stuck in, in another little test here dealing with karmic situations until they get it until they put up boundaries okay that is when they can grow and evolve so I really hope you enjoyed this week uh, weekend's reading. Um, thank you again for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can reach me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And also, if you'd like to purchase jewelry or my uh, Scorpio Moon Intuition cards, you can also visit my website and visit the shop link okay and go under products and you can find all the jewelry and um, where to purchase my scorpio moon intuition cards there um, and also you can follow me on ig guys i have not been posting as much on ig lately uh, especially this past week um, i'm actually coming uh, out of my sickness i am still sick but my energy feels like it's more depleted than it was when I was like more sick than I was last week. So I really think that like another week of this, uh, you know, drizzling um, sickness situation, I think it's going to take another week for it to completely dissipate. Um, it's just one of those uh, sicknesses that won't let you go. You know, I haven't been this sick in a long time, guys, you know, so I guess it was coming you know, towards me, but I really hope that you all enjoy your weekend. I hope that you really enjoyed this reading. Please give it a like, okay? Uh, that actually helps the channel. Make sure you, you leave a comment down below if this had resonated with you, or, you know, or if you just want to say thank you uh, for the reading. You know, I do appreciate each and every one of your comments, and, um, and again, you know, if you want to purchase any jewelry, 
I will Reiki charge the jewelry and send you a free sample of my tea. My teas are delicious. They're vegan. They're certified organic. Um, I, I put a lot of pride into my teas, guys, okay? Um, these are artesian, custom blooded, uh, loose leaf teas. I've been drinking my own tea myself, and it does wonders, guys, okay? I absolutely love it, and I want to share it with you all, you know? So if you've um, made a purchase uh, of any piece of jewelry or, you know, purchased my tarot cards uh, or my message card, deck um, I will give you free tea so you can sample it so you can uh, also drink tea watching this video or you know wearing the jewelry having a sip of tea because my my name brand is a uh, foxy tea um, it is a registered mark guys like I said I put a lot of time into my tea business it's actually a registered business um, and I'm absolutely proud of my tea um, it, it's a fancy tea guys okay I'm not gonna lie they're fancy and they taste good they smell great I also have diet and detox teas if you're interested in that to cleanse uh, your skin uh, naturally uh, so if you're interested into more holistic you know way of healing your body um, that is why I created that business um, my intention was to help heal the world through my tea um, you know, to uh, detox and cleanse your body to remove any kind of radicals, you know, and also it's good for your skin and it's great for, you know, losing weight and it has so many benefits, guys. Um, you know, I just want to put that out there. So, but anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye.